Local Spotlight shines on with our Texas Farm Bureau Insurance Play of the Week, and it's more like Upset of the Week as we look to the Austin area where the Georgetown Eagles welcomed in the number three team in the state, the undefeated College Station Cougars. And Georgetown was immediately up to the task in this one as they jumped out to an early 35-3 lead. Quarterback Noah Boris threw for 335 yards and four touchdowns, while Andrew Petter led the way on the ground with 183 yards and two scores. Georgetown upsets College Station 49 to 38. Well, they called him the Gray Ghost, probably because he haunted opposing defenses throughout his high school career. Jonathan Gray is arguably one of the best high school running backs to ever come out of the state of Texas. The national all-time high school touchdown leader, it was Gray's work ethic and competitive drive that helped shape the culture at Alito. And along the way, the Bearcats would string together one of the most impressive runs the state has ever seen. Now one of the school's greatest students has transitioned to teacher, and he's inspiring the next generation of student athletes who dream big. The main thing about Jonathan was his work ethic. His work ethic was like no other elite athlete I've ever been around. We would have to come get him off the field at times. He would be out here doing a little bit extra, and we would say, hey, Jonathan, we need you to rest. We need you to get your legs right for Friday night ball game. He made a big difference in our program. When Jonathan got here, it wasn't just win a state championship. It was win two and then win three. Jonathan kind of helped us turn the corner. We, we were good. And then when Jonathan got here and then the Bishop brothers, you know, we just kind of took off. Yeah, and he had good players around him. He'll be the first one to say that. But he was the reason behind everything we did. It was never just one person being the face of something. It was a team atmosphere. Nobody ever made it seem as though this one person was bigger than life deal. It was, we have a good football team. Jonathan Gray is a big part for us and we love him, not only just the football player, but the person that he is. And he helped develop a winning attitude. By the time Jonathan left, the attitude of our kids was basically, we're gonna win every game, and we're dang sure gonna win the last one of the year, which is the state championship game. I was always a competitive person and always looking to compete in things. And my dad, it didn't matter if it was wrestling, it didn't matter if it was cards, basketball, racing to the car, racing to go get a grocery cart. I had to beat him at something. I gave Jonathan number 31 when he was a freshman. That was his dad's number. I thought, okay, he'll, he'll like that. No. First thing he did is got me to change his jersey from 31 to 32. He played at Trimble Tech and uh, had his legacy there, and it was always, I'm going to be better than you. And he's like, no, you're not, because I'm big dog 31. And so I always wanted to be 32 because it was a higher number. The drive he had to be better than his dad, you could see that in him. And his dad, uh, James, he really enjoyed watching Jonathan work, and, and he pushed him, and Tanya pushed him, but nobody pushed Jonathan harder than Jonathan pushed himself. Growing up and then having that background of have, I want to be better than my dad always motivated me to do better each and every day. Jonathan has always been a kid with good vision, not just on the football field, but in life. Uh, I can remember when he was a junior and he was trying to decide where he was going to go to college because everybody in the United States wanted to come play football for him. And he basically took football out of the equation and started looking at a school he wanted to attend that was going to prepare him for after football. Tearing my, my first Achilles at Texas was like the big eye opener, like, oh, okay, what are your plans to do? Because this could be a, a career and an injury. What do you want to do if football ends? And so, uh, you know, kinesiology uh, was my major, and I always want to help people. So my immediate thought was like, oh, you know, I'm going to training. Actually, I believe it's 2019. I talked to him about the possibility of becoming a high school coach. And he wanted a coach. He just didn't know if he wanted to teach classes. I've been training athletes for about five years up at AP Ranch, right around the corner from here. And one day it said, hey, Coach Buck, y'all need a running backs coach? And he was like, yeah, I, no, we, do, we do. So I said, OK, let's do this. This year, it worked out just perfect that we needed a teacher in his teaching field. You know, before you know it, I'm taking my teacher certificate stuff, and at the end of the summer, I'm getting certified. Honestly, 
He was better than what I thought he could be as a running back. He is better as a coach already than what I thought he would be at this point. And, you know, it's the same type of thing. Just Jonathan Gray doing, doing great things again. I think it's a great dynamic because he's done it. He's had the experience. He's had it at a very high level, and he can relate with what they're seeing out on the field and help them. He's really the best coach that I have all year and ever had. It's honestly a blessing to be coached by the best. His accomplishments is in the hallways, like his banners and stuff, like his achievements, and that's really a great impact on the team. When you walk down the hallway, what do you think about when you see those things about him? That I want to be the next running back on the, on the wall. He expects perfection. That, that's the way he was as a player. We never had a bad practice. Never had a bad practice when Jonathan Gray was on the field. He demanded that everybody around him work as hard as he did. And that's how he's doing now as a coach. What sense of purpose does coaching and teaching these kids give you? It gives me a purpose of this is what you were supposed to do. You know, it gives me a purpose of helping the next person get to their next level and seeing a bigger picture than just beyond themselves. I want to see people grow and see them blossom to the best to their ability. And that's my enjoyment. And that's why I'm so hard on the running backs and I'm so hard in class is because I, I see where your life could take you. And all it is is just for you to just give effort. That's my, that's my purpose of just giving back to the kids and the athletes. Jonathan Gray recreating more magic for Alito as we look back at his Bearcat career and boy, was it one for the record books. Over 10,000 career rushing yards, 189 rushing touchdowns, but more importantly was the 205 career touchdowns, both rushing and receiving, which broke the all-time high school touchdown record. Gray finished his high school career as a three-time state champion and was first nationally in career touchdowns and second in all-time points scored. A career for the ages, and Texas was lucky to witness the greatness of Jonathan Gray. High School Spotlight will return, so stay right here.